Okie dokie, right, this is the USB lead, Dave. You chop off the bit that you want. Uh, you keep, this is quite a long one. Uh, so you lop off a good sort of uh, four inches, I suppose. Give yourself four or five inches, depending on how long yeah, it's going to be in the case. Anyway, you're left with uh, this. So what I do is cut back. I, go and I, I always keep in my shack uh, some scalpel, uh, some um, these Stanley blades. They're always good for uh, uh, this sort of thing, Dave. So what we've got to do is we've got to get this shielding off. Uh, it's not gone through enough there. Just roll that around like that, and we pull it off. Right, we're not interested in anything in there, Dave, apart from uh, when you will open it up, you will be seeing uh, some shielding. We've got to cut all that back. So you're only ever interested in these two the black and the red the white and the green they can go so what I tend to do is I get my little wire cutters and just go around nibble all this off as much as you can as neat as you can keeping everything away there is a little copper earth one in there as well we don't need that everything's going absolutely everything must go it's like a it's like a january sale dave uh, everything's go so what we do is we trim that round trim it round trim it round so i've got it all fairly neat just spend a bit of time taking all this off here and then keep them out of the way and snip them off and you're left with a black and a red which is the power so what you do Dave is you cut them back now um, just to uh, just give me a second I'm just going to get something just hold on right what I do is I get myself a bit of heat shrink and I'm not going to cut that off but I I cut a little bit off for heat shrink by how much Put it over there and then uh, heat shrink it over so you can't see any of this mine are all uh, been hidden so you can't see them so that's uh, that's something you can do to finish off but if, if you're not bothered if you're not bothered about it just leave it like that and all that will do is your red and your black will go into the book converter on the outside on the outside so you got your um, your little tiny plug socket which by the way Dave you want these and I'll measure these uh, see what size they are but as you can see they're the uh, big they call them like 12 volt plug sockets but there's some of the different sizes different lengths of the mail um, so where's me other bit yeah so uh, uh, you want one of them a female and then what I do then is you go at the back of the box, power in, then to the switch, and then to the book converter, and then this coming out. Uh, that'll be that. That's the other end because I've locked that off. That'll be your micro USB Samsung plug on the end of it. But all you want to be left with is those two, the black and the red, Dave. Cut a bit off on the end there, put some solder on it so it's nice and thick. I tend to fold it back and then stick in the book converter and you'll get a good contact end day. So that's what you want to be doing with the USB lead. It's only the black and the red you're interested in. Hope that, uh, hope that helps there, uh, Dave. And I will get in touch with you and tell you which ones these are. Uh, there's, there's, I know there's loads of different lengths of this part. They're all the same diameter. They've got a different size um, peg on the power part on the female and also they're different lengths on here but I'll look into that anyway 7.3 so that helps